Welcome back to What Are Team Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the SU-8, it's the Tier 6 Soviet SPG. This one's located on the north spawn of Mines Encounter, and it's under the command of me, yes! It's another of my replays. I have been playing the game occasionally during the Christmas holding offs. Having a bit of fun in the North Memphis. Okay, the SU-8 is based on the T-28 tank. It's actually got a 152mm howitzer, and as you can see here, it's capable of 550 alpha, 38mm pen, and a 6.7m burst radius. You can see I've aimed straight away right to the centre of the map, so I'm anticipating an enemy tank trying to get up to the centre. But it doesn't look as if anybody's come this far. Our enemy tanks are in sight. But nobody's there. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the South Island. We definitely have a target over here, a VK 302D. That's the one with the 88mm gun that's capable of doing quite a lot of damage. Rounds out. Just misses him, but it did stun him. Made him pull back, and the Tiger 1 has been stunned too. Now there's two RT on either team. My fellow RT in this game is uh, a Burt, an FB304. On the enemy team, they've got an M44 and a Hummel. Looks like the Burt's having a good go at them as well. Over in the centre, we've got a BZ, a BZ176, as a lot of people are calling it. Using the American reference, because it is an American tank. Rounds out. Direct it on the Liberté. Takes it on the front. Like it actually hit the turret. There's a mark directly on the turret where it hit. I've lost sight of that Liberté, but we have got tanks going up to the centre line, and I'm hoping that one of them is going to spot him momentarily. I'll get another round in. There he is. Okay, he's gone close to the rock, but he backs out. Rounds out. That's all I needed. And it hit the rear of the vehicle. Okay, so the first target we see after that is an AT-15A, and I'm reloading. And of course, the SU-8 has got a very fast reload. Standard reload is 19.65 seconds. I've got 16.29. Oh, I came out of aim mode there. That wasn't good, but I did actually hit the guy directly and stunned him. Okay, so I've gone back to the aim. Going for the 1815 there again. He just got hit with a heat round. Bounce out. And that tracked him. Stationary, it went to the left and just in front of him. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get another round before he moves up to the rock, so I'm thinking about moving to one of his teammates. And there we got a Yag Panther, he just shows me the route, and that's all I need 164 from a direct hit. Unfortunately, it hit the hard armor at the front of the vehicle. You can see exactly where it hit just on the just on the side next to the gun on the lower part of his upper plate. Okay, can he get another shot in? He's not being very cooperative. So I'm having a quick look over in the corner. I noticed the tracer was actually coming from this direction. And I thought that I might be able to catch whoever the RT is in this corner, the Hummel or the M44, with a quick shot. No sign of him yet. Oh, there's the tracer. And I worked out he might be about here, which is just behind the brick wall. So I land the shell there. Unfortunately, didn't get anything from that. But we noticed there were some other enemy. And look at this, the VK-3002M, which is, of course, the Panther prototype. He's pulled back, loaded, rounds out. Directly into his side, 224. That's tracked him. I might get some stun assist if I'm lucky. Nope, didn't get any. But I might get another shot. Okay, he's gone round the corner, so no, I'm not going to get another shot from that angle. But he took some fire, and he's now down to his last few hit points. Rounds out. And that's all I needed, and hit the front of him. He's gone. So I've got my uh, first kill. Okay, Tiger 1, definitely headed this way, up on the middle island. We only have one tank up there, the P-44. I've marked him to let him know that I'm going for it. And yes... 155 and he goes down so he's out of the game and no longer a threat okay i'm looking for the other tanks that might be over this corner i saw the tracer 
Now, I thought that he might be behind the rock around about there, but I may be wrong. Yeah, didn't get that. So, that's two shots I've taken at the arty, but not succeeded. In the meantime, the AT-15A that we saw earlier in the game has actually moved closer to the cap area, and our guys up on top of the hill haven't, in the castle haven't actually done much about it. Which did concern me, because he's getting close to the cap, and I need to spot him. But there we go, the FB-304 was on the ball and put a round into him, and he's out the game. So basically, now most of the enemy tanks are right on the back row. Yeah, they're all in the K row. And there's not a lot I can do. Now they've lost one of their arties. It's the one over in the corner. As you can see now, there's a little blue square over in the corner. In grid square K9. And I reckon that must be the uh, one of the guys that's gone. It's the M44. Which means that the Hummel is the enemy that's on the South Island. Now, given that there's nine minutes to go, what I'm going to do is not what most starter players do. I'm using my W key, yes. And in fact, actually, Steve Walsh in one of his um, streams earlier today was saying very unusual to see an RT using his W key when he's not watching our videos, is he? Because if he did, he'd know that most of our players do use their W key very effectively. Not only to get better angles on the enemy, but also to go and cap and force a battle to a win. As you can see, I'm moving to the uh, cap area, and I'm gonna sit myself in that cap and force the battle uh, for them to come to me or to win the battle with cap. Now, I have put myself in a rather obvious position. That's true. But since they're right down at the other end, and the only person who can actually see me is the arty, and there he is. He's just been spotted and he's got the stock gun and he's out the game. So I have no worries about being counter batteried now. They can't touch me unless they get really close. And our guys are forming a line almost to stop the enemy from coming this direction. So it's basically an all you can eat buffet. Most of the enemy hiding behind the rocks. So all I've got to do is plant the shells behind the rocks. Just like they said in, uh, in the uh, movie, um, um, what was it? Um, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the secret of life, the universe and everything is just to bang the rocks together, guys. At least I think that was in that movie. Anyway, I, actually, I don't know why I didn't go in there at that particular point in time to, to hide while I was reloading. But I suddenly realised, yeah, I don't need to do this. Rams out. Well, that one fell short. We know that there's two enemy there. You can see the AMX 12 ton as well. He's hiding behind the rock there and he hasn't got much in the way of hit points. And now we've spotted a box tank. Oh yes, tasty, meaty morsel. Rouse out. Thank you. That's my second kill. Okay, a serious. A sh <laughs> we've seen a Shrek. I know some people call it other things or Sputniks or whatever, but I like calling it the Shrek. I think it's funny. It looks ugly. Rounds out. That was a direct hit. No doubt about that, but it didn't kill him. Unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> and there's the kill shot from the Burt. The Burt was doing incredibly well in this battle. He was really pumping those shots in like mad. Excellent play. Okay, so we know that there's a 12T somewhere behind that rock and there's only two enemies left we know where the panzer 58 woods is he's on the south island and he's spotted we just need to get this 12 ton and i'm running short on ammo so at the moment basically i'm just trying to launch shells into that corner in the hope that one of them will splash the enemy but i'm also watching the cap and the cap's about to run out so i am going to be a good boy because we've got plenty of time and that's my last round before I back out of the cap and reset it. Give everybody a chance to get a full win. Could have capped out. Didn't want to. Didn't want to upset my teammates. Okay, so the Mutz been spotted again. Hiding behind the rock. And look at that Bert. He's really active. Pumping the shells in. He's probably the only player who can actually launch the shells directly over the rock. And he got a direct hit there as well. 
I'm going to try and put the shell between the bee, hoping that it splashes the guy. Oh, he missed him that time. Yeah, I managed to get it to go between the bee, but it went a bit long. So I think he might have moved and he might have gone down to the end. Okay, I've got one round of HE with stun left and 30 capture points up. Remember, it is uh, an encounter, so I've got plenty of time, twice as long as normal, to, to do it. Okay, so I've switched back to the 12 ton as well. Three rounds left. Normally I notify the other players if I'm running short on ammo. What, one in? No. Now, remember these HE rounds, they do 650 alpha and penetrate 48 millimeters of armor, and they've got a four meter burst radius, so a lot, a lot less, but. Oh, I got him! <laughs> Yes, it was like uh, Blind Man's Buff. Pin the, pin the tail on the donkey. And I finally pinned that donkey to the ground. Okay, so that means there's only one left. And we're now running out of time on the cap. And that was my last round of ammunition. So I've got nothing left. So all I can do now is park myself in the most convenient place that the enemy can't get me. And wait for the result. Okay. Now I decide that I'm going to park myself behind this building. And I do send a message in chat. I said, uh, kill him or cap out. Basically, I'm just giving them a choice. They can either win the game, go in there and get the guy. No recapping, I say. Get him or cap out. So I'm basically giving them a choice. 20 seconds to win the game. Or I'll cap out, take the invader, and end the game here and now. This is I can't re recap, and that's it. Here's the end of battle results. That was an ace tanker for me in the SU8. I got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, I got nine, and I got a confederate as well for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on my team. My win eight was three thousand seven hundred and thirty, which is super unicum standard. Not a huge amount. I've seen other players do a hell of a lot more with the SU-8, uh, but it was a good score all the same. Let's have a look at team score. Well, we can see the highest damage in this one actually went to the T-34B on our team, who managed to get a high caliber for 3,350 hit points. The second highest damage was our Bert. Yes, the FB-304. Um, yeah, not sure. Is that Zazas? Uh, managed to get a Gauze medal and 3,277, so he was not far off getting the high caliber himself in that one. And the third highest damage went to the Shrek on the enemy team with 3,075. I only got 1,948, which means, unfortunately, that there were two members of the enemy team and two members of my own team ahead of me. I was in fifth place on damage. When it came to kills, though, I shared the top spot because the Burt got three, I got three, and also the MT-25 got three. I could have platooned with the, um, well, yes, I could have dynamically platooned with the Burt, and we both could have walked away with a uh, uh, Brothers in Arms, but we didn't, unfortunately. And you can see that uh, four members of, uh, uh, managed to get two, four players rather, managed to get two kills. The Liberté on our team, the SU-100M1, the Shrek on the enemy team, and their Panzer 58 Mutz. And when it came to base XP, it was the Bert who came out on top with 1,203. I managed 1,161. And the MT-25 managed 1,001. And we were the only three players who managed to get over 1,000 base. I fired all 26 rounds. I got nine direct hits on the enemy. No penetrations, but I did get 19 splash. Damage of 1,948 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. Damage 9 of the enemy, kill 3, did 1,190 hit points of stun assist of 16 stuns, and I got 91 capture points in the cap, but didn't cap out, even though I could have. I did let my teammates get the final kill so we could all get the bonus, uh, but I did give them the choice. I said, if you don't, I, if you don't kill him, I will cap out and I'll take the medal. Uh, I did actually let them have a reset, but I couldn't do the reset twice because we were close to under the 3, 5, three minute 50 mark and we wouldn't have been able to do it. 
48,038 credits of the battle, 17,294 from Holding Ops, 65,332 credits altogether, and after ammunition resupply, 43,792 credits profit. I got 25 bonds for completing the day's missions, and 1,741 XP times 2 for the first victory, 627 for completing a mission, and 4,110 experience points altogether. So you see, using your W key is not uncommon for RT players from what RT noobs. In fact, it's very common because our guys actually know how to handle it. Well, guys and gals, I should say, we know how to use the RT and make it move to do, do the job for us. In fact, I did have a battle earlier today where I almost won an assault game and I had to chase an AMX ELC biz. Uh, with my Hummel, with the stock gun. Unfortunately, it didn't work out too well because he had the 90mm gun. So with two rounds, he was able to take me out. Um, bit unfortunate, but uh, there you go. It does happen sometimes. But that's really because our team was kind of short on numbers at the end. There was only two RT left at the end to try and take out that AMX. And my teammate didn't really know how to use the RT properly. There you go. So, yes, um, RTs do know how to move about, and we do know how to cap, and if necessary, we will cap to win the game. We're not going to let a game go, and even though my teammates have decided to set up a line and sh snipe at the enemies as they came, became available, I wasn't prepared to let the game go, just for, because nobody was prepared to go in there and kill the enemy, so that's how it ended up the way it did. I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like, do subscribe to our channel, leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.